Our story today is called Pretzel. And you might think that the pictures look kind of familiar. And if you like Curious George, then you would be absolutely right. This is by Margaret Ray, and the pictures are done by H.A. Ray. Those are the writers and illustrators of Curious George. And this little story is about a dachshund named Pretzel. One morning in May, five little dachshunds were born. One of them was Pretzel. The puppies grew up the way puppies do. The first few weeks, they all looked exactly alike. But after nine weeks, Pretzel suddenly started growing and growing and growing. He grew much longer than any of his brothers and sisters. And when he was fully grown, he was the longest dachshund in all the world. Pretzel was pleased with himself because it is very distinguished for a dachshund to be so long. When he was one year old, a dachshund has grown up at that age, he won the blue ribbon at the dog show. Everyone considered him the best looking dog of all. All the dogs admired him and all the people admired him. Only Greta didn't. Greta was the little dachshund from across the street. Pretzel was in love with her and wanted to marry her. But Greta just laughed at him. I don't care for long dogs, she said. But it is very distinguished for a dachshund to be so long. I won the blue ribbon at the dog show, said Pretzel. I still don't care, said Gretel. Pretzel was hurt, but he did not show it. Please marry me, he said, and, and I will do anything for you. Prove it, said Greta, and went away. So Pretzel set out to prove it. First, he brought Greta a nice big bone. Thanks for the bone, said Greta, but I won't marry you for that. I don't care for long dogs. And she ate the bone and forgot about Pretzel. Pretzel had to try something else. He gave her the lovely rubber ball he had been given for his birthday. Thank you, said Greta, but I still won't marry you. I don't care for long dogs. Besides, everybody can give presents. And she ran away with the ball. Look what I can do, said Pretzel when they met again. Nobody except me can do that. And this is what he did. Not bad, said Greta. Your name certainly fits you. But I like the pretzels at the baker's better. And I still don't care for long dogs. Pretzel was very unhappy. Some weeks passed. Greta wouldn't even speak to Pretzel. One day, while she was playing with her ball, it bounced away. She tried to catch it and boops! Greta and the ball landed in a hole. Greta tried to get out of the hole, but she couldn't. It was much too deep. She was terribly scared. If nobody came to save her, she might never, never... Just then, Pretzel's face appeared over the edge of the hole. I'll get you out of there, he shouted. He had been watching Greta all the time. Now he rushed to help her. How good that Pretzel was so long. I believe you saved my life. You are wonderful, said Greta with a sigh. Will you marry me now? asked Pretzel. I will, said Greta, but not for your length. So, they kissed each other and got married. And one morning in May, five little dachshunds were born. <laughs>